Nation, I'm Tiffany, and around Comic Pop, most people know that I'm a huge Doctor Strange fan, so you could imagine when earlier this week we got the chance to see the Doctor Strange trailer, I was really excited. I mean, honestly, before going into it, I didn't know what to expect, I was a little hesitant, but as soon as I pressed play, I was so just, I couldn't wait for the movie to come out. So I thought maybe I could talk to you guys about how I felt about it. I know it's a few days later, but... I finally have all my thoughts together, just barely, so I'm probably gonna ramble, but here we go. Let's start with some of the things that I really liked about it. They did a fantastic job of emphasizing Benedict Cumberbatch's hands, which I think is amazing. Doctor Strange is marked by the accident that destroys his hands and sets him down the path to becoming Doctor Strange Sorcerer Supreme. So I think it's amazing that they went out of their way to put so much emphasis in the trailer on his hands. Not only that, but as we saw in that photo of Cumberbatch with the oath, his hands are all marked up. They're totally doing the scars. They're gonna stick with it. I think that's so cool and so like faithful to the source material. And I'm just, ah! Another thing I really, really love is the fact that they're making this movie kind of dark and not looking like every other Marvel film out there. And I think that Derrickson, who's a horror director, is an excellent choice for this. I mean, sure, Doctor Strange, you know, has his moments of campiness, especially being a character that's birthed out of the, the 60s and 70s. But a lot of that stuff can be really trippy and weird. And I think pulling a horror director in definitely gives them the opportunity to take that and turn it into something totally insane. But something that is grounded enough that can fit in the rest of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Like, I am also crazy impressed with the amount of restraint this trailer had. They didn't show us everything, or at least I hope they didn't show us everything. They gave us the origin, we saw a little bit of his journey, and then we see the back of him in shadow walking up the stairs of the Sanctum Sanctorum with the, the Vashanti seal over the window. And that was it! Like, they're like, yeah, and eventually he'll become Sorcerer Supreme, but you gotta wait. That is awesome. In, a, in the day and age that we're in where they, people just put out a trailer and like it has everything in it, that's awesome. Leave them wanting more. Good on them. Now, of course, I'm sure trailers and teasers that come later on, we're going to see a lot more and eventually I'm going to stop watching them because I want to be surprised when I go to that theater. Ah. Also, one other thing before we move on. Benedict Cumberbatch's voice. I kind of dig it. I was not a huge supporter of his when they first cast him as Doctor Strange. And I gotta tell you, I dug it. I know a lot of people said they had this kind of deeper, gravelly voice. It was a little Hugh Laurie-esque, you know, when a British person tries to put on an American accent, it gets a little deeper. I kind of thought it was cool. And at the end of the trailer, when he says, teach me, his voice is very different. So I think that that's just, just acting. And I think he's going to really do a good job. I mean, Doctor Strange himself is a New Yorker and he should not sound like a Brit. And not that there's anything wrong with being British. I love the English accent. I'm just glad that Doctor Strange is going to sound like the New Yorker that he is. Okay, let's talk about a couple of things that I don't want to say dislike, but I'm a little worried about. This is an origin story. I understand that totally. Because the fact is, not a lot of people, the, the movie going public, are going to know who Doctor Strange is. So I completely understand putting that in there. I hope it's not just that. I mean, we clearly see a villain who we're not 100% sure who that is as of the filming of this video. Right now, people are thinking it's Nightmare, and I think that's a fine choice. Derrickson being a horror director, that's a great choice. It totally fits. Uh, as long as it's not Dormammu. Don't make it Dormammu. That's such a waste of Dormammu. One of the things that I'm not... Uh, just, I don't know if it's gonna work and not to, the movie will prove me right or wrong in this one. I don't know if Tilda Swinton works as the Ancient One. It's cool in concept. You think about it, you're like, that's neat. But for me, the Ancient One has a very specific look and, you know, should be a certain age. And, it's just, it's not working for me. Also, I think it's neat that they cast Rachel McAdams in here. I mean, a lot of people are speculating that that is in fact the night nurse. Some people think she's more of a contemporary of, of Doctor Strange's, like she's also a surgeon. As long as they don't make this into just one big love story, that's totally fine. I mean, the fact is Doctor Strange is kind of a player, whether they be of this universe or of many others out there. But Doctor Strange definitely has a big relationship with a woman by the name of Clea. That's what I'm hoping to see sometime, and it wouldn't be mind-blowing if it turned out she was her. I know it's not gonna be that, but wouldn't that be kinda cool? The movie looks awesome, and it's dark, and there's just lots of cool shots and crazy costumes, and I can't wait to see more. Like, that's just what it is. This trailer made me want to see more. It did exactly what a trailer should do. It makes me want to go to the movies. What did you guys think of it? How do you feel about the movie? The look and the feel? How do you feel about Tilda Swinton as the ancient one? Does that get under your skin like me? Or are you just like, I don't care. I just want to see Doctor Strange. You let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time on Cow Pop.